Hey guys, it's Jen from Two Tips. Today's video is going to be on my everyday makeup tutorial. Some of you have requested it, so I thought I'd make it for you today. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you guys want to know how I created this look, please keep watching. Let's start with moisturizer. My favorite is this one from Alba Botanica. It's oil-free, all-natural, smells amazing, and is perfect to use before applying makeup. I also like to pat the moisturizer on gently with my fingers, as this helps the skin soak in the moisturizer. Tip, remember to wait at least one minute for the moisturizer to dry. Grab your beauty blender. I'm going to use my favorite NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer and apply it all over the skin. Use the beauty blender in a rolling motion to create a flawless face. Tip, add some water to the sponge for an easy application. But if you do have a water-based foundation, skip this step because the sponge will just soak in your foundation. I'm going to use my favorite Makeup Forever's Lifting Eye Concealer in number 3 to hide under eye circles. First, warm up the concealer on your hand and apply it with your fingers for extra coverage underneath the eyes. Now go over any harsh lines with a beauty blender. To make sure your foundation and concealer last all day, use a powder to lock it in. The one I'm using here is from NYX in Soft Beige. My favorite part, contouring. I am in love with this Too Faced Bronzing Powder in Chocolate Soleil. I love the gold packaging too. This will be my second Too Faced bronzer that I've bought. Definitely try this bronzer out, it's a must have. Now using a contour brush, lightly contour your cheekbones. Go straight into the hairline for a natural bronzed look. The key to a flawless contoured face is blending. And don't forget to contour the sides of your forehead as well for a fully contoured face. Next up, let's add some color to the cheeks. I just bought this Sephora blush in Rose Petal and it has the most natural pink glow. Use a round blush brush and lightly apply it to the apples of your cheeks. Don't go overboard with the blush because a little goes a long way. Eyebrow time! One of my favorite eyebrow pencils is this one from Laura Mercier in Brunette. It goes on really lightly so it's easy to build up the color for your eyebrows. Use light soft strokes to achieve the perfect brow. To help smooth out any lines, use a eyebrow brush and go over your eyebrows for a soft bushy look. Try and stay on the lighter side for the eyebrows. Eyebrows that are too dark can look overpowering and unnatural. For my everyday eyeshadow, I like to use natural earth tones. First, I'm going to sweep this light peachy shade all over the eyelids with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Then, using a smudge brush, I'm going to apply this medium brown shade to the outer corners of the eyes. My eye sockets aren't deep, so I find that applying to the outer corners look best on eyes like mine. Going too high up on the eyelid can make it look unnatural for an everyday look. Next, I'm going to use this darker brown shade and go over the medium color I just put on. The darker shade accentuates the eyes and makes them look bigger. Use a fluffy eyeshadow brush to blend it in well. Now let's curl the eyelashes. The one I'm using here is from Revlon. Just a few seconds on each side and pull them down as you curl. Time to add some mascara. The one I'm using here is from L'Oreal in Blackest Black. The choppy bristles help make my eyelashes look thicker and longer. Start from the root and wiggle it, then sweep upwards. To add more depth to the eyes, I'm going to line the upper waterline with my Prestige Black Eyeliner. To make my eyes appear larger, I'm going to use my go-to Dolly Wink Liquid Eyeliner in Black to create a winged cat eye. Next, I'm going to line the bottom waterline and go over that with a dark eyeshadow to soak it in. Let's get those lips ready. I'm really loving this Michael Kors Dual Lip Gloss and Perfume Roller. The color is very nude, which I love for a natural, everyday look. Then I'm going to run this little guy, which has a beautiful peachy coral color on top, for an extra punch of color. Mm -hmm. 
Finish off the look, I'm going to apply this cheek shimmer in Shell by MAC to the bridge of my nose, the cheekbones, underneath the eyebrows, and on the cupid's bow. And we're done! So this is my everyday makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. You can also follow me on my Twitter page where I post all my daily tips and you can also hang out with me on my blog, 2tips.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.